Hello beautiful people, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Oluchi Imwan. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to decorate a simple birthday cake from home, either as a beginner or home baker. And this is the start of this process. You start off by trimming the top of your cake. I like to do this so that I don't have spaces in between my cake layers. And it's easy for me to work with. So this is what I do. I start off with the trimming of the top. As you can observe, I'm holding my knife in place and just turning my cake with the aid of the turntable. I've washed my hands so my hands are clean. And I'm just holding the cake by the side while I'm doing the trimming. When I'm done with that, I'll clean my board and get on to the other layers. I'm repeating the same process here, turning my cake and trimming off the top so that I have a leveled cake layer to work with. Just in case you are looking for the recipe I used for this cookies and cream chocolate chip cake, I just uploaded that before this so please feel free to check out the recipe and try it out. It's a lovely recipe I must say so you can check out the description box in the video before this and you'll see the recipe. Thank you. Once I'm done with the trimming of my layers, I'm going to go right ahead to fill my cake. So in this cake, I'm using caramel filling and I'm also using Biscoff filling. So this is my caramel. It's a store-bought caramel and I'm just putting it in the middle. There are some things that I would point out to you or show you which you should avoid. And this is the first thing because I had issues later on with the cake. So do not use so much filling in between. And I didn't want it to come directly in contact with my cake. So I put some buttercream like you saw before doing this. But the filling was too much because of the consistency, which is light. I shouldn't have put so much. So please take note of this when you are filling your cake. Now the biscuit filling is thicker, as you can see. It's not as light as that. And... You can walk around this moderately. Okay, so this was what I used for the second layer, after which I proceeded to put the top layer of the cake. Another important step which I want to point out is the building of the dam around the filling. I did it for the first one, but apparently it didn't work because it was a lot and it was light in texture i mean the caramel so build a dam around it to hold the filling in place the next thing you want to do is to use your dowel rod so i'm using a single dowel here in the center so that i can hold all the layers together and it's easy for me to crumb coat my cake which i'm doing now At this point, I had to adjust because my cake layers were sliding. I could feel it moving, so I had to adjust it, and I continued with the crumb coating, but it just wasn't helping. So I decided to use another double rod in my cake layer so that I would have to one to one end and one to the other end to help me keep it just in place. Now, if I were delivering this cake, I would definitely use more, maybe about three or about four, just so that... I am sure and it keeps my layers in place. That's just a personal preference, but please feel free to do what works for you. Use a number that you're comfortable with.
So I'm going right ahead to crumb coat the body. I'll cover everywhere in buttercream. And if you observed as well, I did not trim the sides of this cake like I would usually do for my cakes. This is because it's for home baking and I can manage the situation. I can manage the cake this way. I can manage the first thing and it's just all good. So it's a thing of choice. You can decide to trim or leave the cake this way and go ahead to do your crumb coating. But if you trim, this crumb coating step is very important so that you keep the crumbs locked in place and they don't mess up or peek through your buttercream first thing when you are ready to do the final coating. The next stage is to use your bench scraper. This tool I'm holding is called a bench scraper and it's to smoothen the crumb coat that you've applied to the body of the cake. So you scrape it and then take off the excess. What you're trying to do here is to get a good foundation for your cake first thing or for your buttercream that you're going to be applying as a final coat. So smooth the needs and make sure that it is fine. For me, I do not put too much thought into this because I'm still going to cover it. But it's good that you have this basic knowledge of smoothening the crop coats that you're going to be using for your cake. Because like I said, it's a good base. It's a good foundation that you need to have in place for your final covering, frosting or coating of your cake. When I'm done with that and satisfied with the results, I'll go right ahead to start applying my buttercream. So this is it. I go line by line. Some people would apply it directly using a spatula, apply it in good enough quantity and then go ahead to scrape it or just go ahead to, you know, proceed with the decorating. But this is what I like to do. If you have a big bag, you can put it in a big bag. And first, just do it line by line all the way to the very top of the cake, leaving some extending just slightly above the cake. Once I'm done with that, I'll go in with my little spatula, my offset spatula. It's curved a bit so that it helps me with easy movement. So I'm using my spatula just to smoothen the sides before I go in with my bench scraper. Yeah. I'm sorry I skipped some steps. I was discouraged because if you take a look at the cake, you see that the caramel is seeping through the cake. It's threatening to come out and the buttercream was also giving me issues. It was when I was done, I realized that I made a mistake in the butter that I used for this buttercream. So it was giving me issues and I was discouraged. So I thought to just stop the recording. After some time, I just decided to continue with what I was recording so I'm sorry there's a part that is missing but this is exactly how I got the pattern on the cake so it's a textured cake and I just used my spatula to create the pattern on the cake when I was done I added sprinkles to it remember it's just a home baking and it's just a simple birthday cake beginner friendly you can easily get this done at home for yourself One of my subscribers mentioned wanting to see the insides of the cake. She said she wished I had cut it up and I said I have that on record already. So this is it. 
when I was done with decorating, we cut up the cake and had a good time enjoying the goodness of this cake. And it tastes nice. It's lovely. It is soft. It's moist. And you would love it if you try it out. Okay. So please do not forget to tag me when you do. Give me your feedback like you always do. Thank you so much for those who usually share their feedback with me when they try my cakes. So thank you. I am very grateful. That's the inside of the cake. The cake got like they call it, just as you can see. And I hope that you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching this video. Please don't forget to hit the like button and to subscribe to my channel and join this family if you're yet to join this family, okay? So please drop me a kind comment as well if you found this valuable. If you have questions as well, you can drop them in the comments and I'll answer to the best of my ability. Until I see you in my next video, stay happy, stay safe and stay blessed.